Hello, everybody listening and watching to the WTOP. Welcome to our podcast podcast. I am Kevin, and I'm here to tell you that we have a technical difficulty on the podcast this week. Mike's camera sucks. So we're not going to use it at all. We're not even going to use Mike's camera. You're never going to see Mike's angle in this episode, okay? And we're sorry about it. You can't see Mike's beautiful Italian man face. That's it, okay? Enjoy it. Enjoy all of it. All right. Okay. You ready? Yeah, I think so. And welcome to our podcast. Welcome to the podcast, you guys. How many episodes start with you going, yeah, yeah. And I, it's like my signature move, right? It's pretty Most nice. Most people have a signature something, right? And that's mine. I think we would be a good morning radio talk show or maybe like a late night radio talk show Mm -hmm. if either of us could commit to staying awake yeah that's not really a a thing for me i think i went to bed i got into bed at eight something last night Uh uh-huh probably fell asleep around 9 30 you know what that means Good night's sleep. Yes. Um, thank you for coming here today. Thank you for finding us wherever you are. I don't know why, but the last episode didn't show up on iTunes. Hmm. I don't know how to fix it. I'm sorry for the however many of you that missed out or thought that we didn't do it. Now you're all pissed off at us, and it's whose fault? It's Apple's fault. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. We did everything we normally do. Yeah. And Apple didn't want the podcast. They said, hey. No. No, not this week. Let's take a week off of you guys. But uh, we didn't. Seems and rude. So if, I don't know if you use Spotify. I, tell me if you do this. I use Spotify mm-hmm. and I like it. Yes. Well, we both have a family thing, don't we? Yes. But in my mind, I'm like. This is so easy, and I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Everyone uses Spotify. Right. But that is not the case. That's not the case. And isn't that the problem with this whole country? (laughs) I mean, people can use SoundCloud, too. They can use SoundCloud if they want. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the easiest. I think people use that. I would love to know. I would love to see a, a pie chart. Of where people are coming from. Okay. What? Nothing. I can't fantasize about Just pie charts. Pie charts, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. Tell me you wouldn't be interested. I'm just horny for data. Tell me you wouldn't be interested in seeing where people listen to the show, how people listen to the show. How do you listen to podcasts? You don't. You don't even you don't even care. You're right. Mm. You're right. The only thing I care about is you. Don't do that. This podcast. All right. And that's it. <laughs> Those are the only two things you that's care it. about. <laughs> well, that's not truthful. And my mom and my sibling. Yeah. What about my mom? Yeah, of course. I want to call her and tell you. Okay. You didn't Here we care go. about her. Here we go. Anyway, uh, so, so many things are happening. Yes. On the 25th, there's going to be a surrounded show in Bridgeport, Connecticut, at BPT, yeah, the BPT and okay. Two O Tree yeah. at Park City Music Hall. Mm-hmm. Come to that. Tickets on like And then on the twenty seventh, surrounded at the Stand in New York City, mm-hmm. Mike Falls on deck. And that's ten p.m. I believe. Hmm. So come on out. Come Stay on. up late. Come on. Kick your your shoes into the hall, but don't let them touch the wall because then you'll mark up the walls and mom will get upset. And come on down to the stand. Just from the walls. From the window to the wall until the sweat drops down the stand. And then come to the, to the stand, buy tickets for that. I can't tell whether you love my jokes or you hate them. Every day, not just now, mm. all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, so those two things are happening. Also, the surrounded show got released in VR yes. and also on Facebook and Instagram and and the numbers say that you guys watched them. 
So thank you so much for watching. I'm getting a lot of inbox messages about if I don't have VR, how do I watch it on Facebook and Instagram at the Just for Laughs pages. Mm -hmm. You could do that. Do it. And do I it. I dare you to do and it. it's so much I fun. I dare you to do it. Yes. Or you can come see it live in Connecticut or New York. Yes. Next week. And if you're not on either of those places, mm -hmm. back in Los Angeles on... What's the next month? November. October. 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 The first Friday in October. Yes. Early show only. Early show. Somebody's in there after us. Oh, that's rude. And that's all of the announcements. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to say a special thank you, and I'll start it right now. Okay. Hit the timer. Start it. October 7th. I want to say that... A very special thank you to the Discord of this podcast, mm -hmm. the Welcome to Our Podcast Discord, for uh, they had a watch party uh, for Surrounded, and that was getting sent screenshots, and I just think it's, I think that's really nice. Yeah. We spent a lot of time in there over the pandemic. Yeah. And uh, the people in there really helped boost my spirits uh, for a long time. Yeah. And that is not to be taken lightly. No, I mean, that that was such a great, and it was so much fun to just be in there whenever. Yeah. Um, I feel like during the pandemic, I was a little sad. Do you Did you get that? I wasn't sad. The whole time? Never. Once. Not once? Mm -mm. Damn. Ice cold. I'm just kidding. Um, sure, of course. The entire world was shut down. Yes. Um. And it was nice to be able to pop in there here and there. I haven't been in there in a while. Yeah, we gotta go back. And I'm, ex I'm just by the end of the days at work, I'm just I'm exhausted and I can't with another conversation. Getting pulled from a lot of different. You're already getting pulled. Yeah. Hmm. So it's not even so much that I can't with a conversation because of course yeah. I can rally and, and do an it. It's just thing. yeah, it is. It really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of the time I just come home, I eat, and I go right to bed. Yeah, but we know that you're there, and yeah. we appreciate you very much. Yes. So thanks for getting together and watching that. Yeah. And posting screenshots and stuff, and y'all. Um, They're make always me very happy. so active in there too. Yeah. It's so. It's nice. It's nice. Which is one of the things that you could do if you're a Patreon on the show. You can go to meet those people. Mm -hmm. And you could say, hey. And, they've been, and they'll be like, hey. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how it goes back and forth. That's it. And it's a nice relationship some people do for the rest of their lives. I mean, it's fun, too, because I, I from what I understand, there's a bunch of people that are going to try and come to New York show. Tight. Yeah. There's some people that come on the regular. Okay. And I'm happy to say, no. I didn't mean it <laughs> how you just took it. I need you to understand that. The, I, probably I the one time I didn't mean yeah, it yeah, like yeah. that. I know. Last week we, we invited a format change into the show. Mm -hmm. That we still haven't had a formal meeting about. Fuck. Yeah. And you know Lex is upset about that. She's going to give you shit for that. Why is it, it my fault though? It's your fault. Why? I don't know. It's just as much your fault. No. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Same time. Lex. Tone. Should we call on Lex? We should call Lex. <clears throat> Damn. I gotta get myself. Um, I gotta get myself armored up. Mm-hmm. Because you know she's gonna give you hell. I know. We were supposed to have a meeting with Lex. Two days in a row. Two days in a row. We, well, we all first forgot the first time, so that's on all of us. See. Getting less off me as the minutes tick on. Lex is upset. She's not picking up her phone. She might be at work. She might be just looking at her phone pissed off. She's like, I'm not fucking answering this shit. Linoleum floor. She kicked it across. Yeah. It's under a sink. Yeah, I don't Phone's think under the sink. Her. Lex is upset. Yes. So listen, let's just try to figure out how the meeting would have gone. She's a pretty predictable person. We know she's going to be upset, for example. <laughs> so we have the meeting and we say, hey, we had a format change. Mm -hmm. For the first half of the show, mm -hmm. we'll catch up. Yes. For the second half of the show, we'll uh, do a deep dive into a question. Yes. And, uh, and then Lex was like, I got some ideas. Let's have a meeting. Yes. So let's try to predict what those would have been. Okay. 
she has a new segment where it's, it's specifically dating advice for super short people. Mm-hmm. No. No? No. She wouldn't have suggested that? No. No. Okay. She's going to fucking whoop your ass for that one. I'm padding it. Yeah. Is what I'm doing. Uh huh. Because if I'm going to get yelled at, I might as well get yelled, yelled at a lot. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. Anyway, what do you think she would have said in the meeting? I think she would have said that people like segments. Yeah. And um, that this is a good one and that we can kind of go off the rails with this. Off the rails? What does that mean? Uh, We can make it actual, like, good advice or we could just give absolutely ridiculous advice. Should we um, say which one it is at some point? No. (laughs) No. 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 You figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think people are going to know just by knowing us. You'd be surprised. <laughs> Sometimes people don't know. Sometimes I don't know. Yeah, sh- true. What do you What's suppose that noise that is? Noise? Is it this? What is that? I've never heard that noise before. I've never heard that vo- noise either. It sounds like a bad noise. Touch it's... whatever sounds like it's vibrating. Is it like that? that? No? No. Whoa, weird. Is it the... Hold on one sec. Oh, it's the fan in the room. Dude. Every once in a while. Yeah. I want to say thank goodness. (laughs) I want to say thank goodness because... Thank goodness that happened... Uh, while you're just then during waking hours, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Imagine so that fan is on us at night because it's so very hot. It's done that noise before at night, really. Yes, and it woke me up. I don't know that you were home. Wow, thank goodness. And it woke me up, and I thought that I was oh, goodness, in a dream, and yeah. That was terrible. Yeah. I'm sorry that That's okay. anyone had to deal with that. But, but I'm so right. happy that that didn't happen when I was asleep. Yeah. Because I would have fucking asked myself. Yeah. Yeah. He probably would have. <sighs> oh, my sweet goodness. And yeah. then I, I would have had to have been like, I asked myself, baby, in girl, bed. In help bed, me. Help. I'm going to stay like this. You take the pants off. I'm wearing full pants in bed. <laughs> Dress pants. <laughs> oh. And I asked him. Um, so happy I didn't hear that noise. Uh, Zoe? Mike? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I uh, have a lot to prep prior to leaving. Yeah. Um, for 10 days. I feel like we're always getting ready to leave. Yeah, it was funny because I was talking to Jamie today and I was like, I feel like I've seen you maybe seven days in the last six months. She's like, because it's true. You yeah. have only seen me a handful of days. Yes. Uh, she right now is, she was working Fashion Week this weekend in New York City and she should be getting on a flight soon to London to go work that Fashion Week. Damn. Yeah. Homegirl's killing it. She went from LA to New York. To yeah. London. Mm-hmm. That's like that song with Kanye and that British lady. American boy. Take me to New York. Go someday. It's go someday. Okay. You don't take me to New York so you can see LA. Zoe. I really want to come kick it with you. You, you be my American boy. And then she goes, tell her what, blah, blah. Uh, And I don't know what she says, but it does sound like that. <laughs> you play. You play? Yeah, something like that. Yo, play the yogurt. <laughs> so good. So tasty. That song's mostly about yogurt. Yeah. Zoe, I got a ticket this week. You got a ticket? It was actually last week, but. Hmm. Hmm. I just remembered it because I put it in the door. And the side door panel. What kind of a ticket? Moving violation or not? No, it was a parking ticket. Mm. It was very annoying. Why can't you just follow the rules? My meter fucking went up. My they, meter! My it's me- broken! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's from, but I know I've heard it a thousand times. Oh no, the table! The table! It's broken! <laughs> anyway. Nice meme sound. Um, oh, it's Lex, you guys. Uh-oh. Okay? And we're tough boys. We're all tough boys. 
Alexis, welcome to our podcast. Welcome to the podcast. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So we were talking about um, the structure change of the show and how we were supposed to have not one but two meetings. And we want to know whose fault is it actually? Mike thinks it's his, and I agree. And I just wanted to know I don't think so. who's most to blame here. Um, <laughs> does this affect our friendship? No, 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 no. It doesn't even affect our friendship. No, you can be honest here. She's going to say it's me. I think it's equal you and Mike. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's fair. Eh, that's is, fair. It, is it you at all? No. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I was hoping because to avoid that one. A date or a set time. Was a, yeah, Mike's busy today, but not tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And then I tried to call and no one answered. So. Yeah, yeah, that was my fault. I'm, Damn. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take responsibility for that. I saw you come up on her phone and I slid the phone underneath the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on me. So I'll take half the blame. I'll take I'll take the full blame, it's fine. Um, I think it's 50, 50. but we shall, we shall reschedule this. Uh, let me know what your schedule is. Um, and there's that. Do you want to go play golf on Wednesday? Are you going to ditch me for someone else? Oh, oh shit. See, I knew there was some heat coming and I was ready for it. I was sitting there like a catcher, like a baseball catcher and I got it. Yeah, you did. I mean, you got it right, right to the mask, you know? Yeah. Yeah, somebody fouled it off and I got hit in the mask, Lex. Right in the kisser. Maybe we can go to the museum. Hmm. <laughs> Still upset about that. Mm. Well, maybe you can make it up to her when she's here next Well, time. I know you're too short to get over it, so I hope you'll get under <laughs> it soon. <laughs> welcome back. And welcome back. Lex, I love you. I'll call you later. Okay, bye, Bye. She got got. She got got. She so got got. You know, you fly too close to the sun, Lex. Yeah. <laughs> and you get got. I also got got. I'll say that. Yeah. We owe her a call. We'll yeah. do it today. Yeah. It's my money and I want it now. Yeah. Um, man, she's upset. She's not that upset. She's pretty upset. I like how she asked if it, if it was going to affect our friendship. Yeah. And it does. And we told her that it didn't, but it does. <laughs> no, it I'm just kidding. She's very good. I like to say shout out to all members of the of the team. Yeah. Josh has been doing a great job with the Instagram. Nope. No. Nope. Lex has been doing the Instagram. Fuck Lex. No, Josh has been doing a great job with the Twitter. Yes. And then the, the little one, the Lex, has been doing a great job with the Instagram. Yes. And Kevin has been doing a great job with the clips. Yes. Thank you guys for your hard work. Yes. We appreciate it. And now we can get into the crux of the episode. Tell me what you got there. I have Home several puzzle. questions from last week that we didn't get to. Okay. And there are several. And several. I don't, I didn't reread any of them in okay. preparation for the show. Okay. What do you do? Why My, are you I, so I'm trying to. Move a contact? I'm, yes. Without so, touching it. Yes. They so, should call them a don't contact because you shouldn't touch them. Anyway, that's one more joke from me. <laughs> um, I am trying to learn how to wear contacts, but they do bother my eyes. Yeah. Um, because I can feel them, and uh, I just I don't want to have to wear glasses. I'm a maid of honor. I'm my friend Jackie's wedding. My best friend Jackie. Sure. And you shout out one that- time. Nerds can't be made of honors. No, they can be by all means, but I don't want the reflection in pictures. Sure. So I'm trying to teach myself how to wear these fuckers. But I think I need like ex- like a, a water bottle of uh, solution. So you could spray yourself in the face like you're running a marathon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Zoe, you look so pretty in glasses. Thank you. I like myself in glasses. I'm not going to not ever wear them. I'm just trying to wear them as much as I possibly can from now until then so that I get used to them. You know what your deal is, dude? What? You got a good face. Thanks. And hair. 
Thanks. So glasses are so beautifully designed nowadays mm -hmm. that if you put something pretty on something pretty, that's a that's a great combination of stuff. Are you flirting with me, Felzon? Kind of, but there's no like emotion behind it. I'm just stating facts. <laughs> Thank you, my love. You know what I mean? I really appreciate it. You made me blush a little bit. Well, get under it. Zoe, we got a couple questions from <laughs> last week. Yes. From last week? Yeah. Yes. The show that is lost to time. Uh-huh. According to my favorite fruit, the apple. <laughs> How to tell if someone likes you back. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's hard. Ooh. Sometimes you're tough. You're t hard. You can't read other people because people are all fucked up and difficult. Are these people trying to ask you to hang out all the time? Hmm. Are these people... Do they feel the need to tell you stupid little parts of their day? Um, What's like, that one? Like, I do that. Yeah, you do that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, we send each other uh, little videos of animals back and forth on yeah on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And that's always really cute. Do these people are only are they always sending you animals on Instagram or what? Yeah, that's so a good there's, one. So there's that, or they'll tell you that they saw something crazy at a stoplight or so a stop specific. sign. Yeah, I'm just saying, like just random things hmm. that happen throughout the day, or they call you and they ask you how you're doing. They always touch your arm. Mm. They look lovingly at you into your eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were going to say something. I was not. Yeah. I, and I would never jump on a stumble but, like that. Yeah. I just want to say uh, another thing. Do they write you poems? Do people still do that? Yes. Mm. Do they tell you how beautiful you are? Yeah. And rhyme the next thing that they say and write it down. Mm -hmm. Your eyes are like the ocean. Remind me of the waves crashing. And yeah. the sunlight. Sure. Are you talking about As my the eyes? sun is setting. I zoned out because I was trying to think of another one because <laughs> I don't feel like I've contributed really. That's rude. That's, Sorry. That's really rude. I was trying to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Are they honest with you? Yes. Yeah. That's a good one. But that's just, a, that's good. That's good in general. Yeah. Somebody who likes you might not always be honest with you because they're trying to put forward their, their best, most flashiest self. You know what I mean? Their best, most... Never mind. Right. Um, nothing. Gaseous um, self. What? Gaseous. So. Those are some ways that you can tell if somebody's into you. Arm touching was my... Arm touching is pretty good. Yeah. Or like a weird just having to touch you at like the most not... Yeah. Reason time. Reason um, time? Recent at the yeah. touching you with the most recent time. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me put it my schedule. <laughs> I'd like to be touching you at the most recent time. Yes. Um, dude, I never really had the problem of like not knowing when somebody liked me. Mm -hmm. I was never a very like sought after. Uh, I never had that. You were never that individual. No, I always wanted people to like me so bad. That I would pick up on anything. Yeah. I was like, that person likes me. This is great. We yeah, did it. We did it. But it was never like, I try to think about thing, people who have this problem. Uh -huh. And I don't know. I was oblivious. I can't identify. See, I can't identify with that. I didn't know if somebody was like trying to hit on me or. Why not? Because I wasn't, it wasn't something that I was like looking for. Hmm. You know? So um, you're thinking, you miss it because you're thinking about other things. Yeah, like... I didn't I miss just, it because I was always thinking about that. Well, it was funny because, and I've said this before on the podcast, is like my sister would be like, they would, they were hitting on you. And I'm like, no, they weren't. They were just being nice and wanted to talk. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're you crying know? in the bathroom. Yeah. And they're like, no, stupid. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, whatever. And you legit didn't know. You weren't just like, um, you knew... But you were like too cool to acknowledge it. You no. straight up didn't know. Mm -mm. Hmm. No, maybe because I mean, you're a bad listener. 
for the other. That's really rude. I was Do just, you I even like maybe. me right now? What? It's just that one time Lex called me and she said that you were kind of a bad listener. No, I doubt that. She said that. Lex and I talked I'm on the phone kidding. last week for three hours. Damn, do you hear anything she said? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just fooling around. I'm sorry. I take back everything I said. That's so rude. Um, so you legit didn't know that people. Yeah, were... I didn't. I didn't really know. I mean, also though, if if you need to know whether or not they like you, maybe ask them out on a date. Yeah, maybe it's it's. You're trying to get clarity because you like them, sounds mm-hmm. like. So why don't you just uh, make the first move? Yeah. Yeah. Because maybe that's what they're waiting for. Dude, I, I do suppose that there was a time in my life where I was like, do you think they like you back? Mm-hmm. Like it was clear that I like the person. Right. But sometimes I was like, should I give my number to that person? Mm-hmm. Is that even worth it? Would they entertain something like that? Mm-hmm. Because I was always like, I never wanted to give my number to someone who wasn't going to use it. Right. So I would rather just not give you my number. Right. So if I wanted to give someone my number, this mm-hmm. is the number to my telephone, of course, mm-hmm. I would want to know if they liked me enough to like, Give it back. Legit use it. Or, yeah, would they give my give number it. back to me? No, like give you, give them, give you their number. Sorry. That Dude, took a what if wow. I asked you for your number and you just instantly, without uh, like a second delay, you just said my number to me? That would be hilarious. But we didn't know each other. <laughs> two zero three don't come on i'm just kidding two three represent um anyway um so yeah that's how you like that's how you can tell if they like you they touch your own mm-hmm. long story short what are you doing Sam? i'm trying to find how the number situation went in our situation what are you talking about are oh, you oh I hit you up on Facebook. Uh huh. I don't know if they're still here. Did you know that I liked you? When did you know that I liked you? I knew that you liked me immediately, like but I when was we not were in person. Mm, not when we were in person, because I didn't really spend a lot of time talking to you mm. yet. Um. But as soon as you hit me up on on the Facebook Messenger. But there's a lot of like, this is crazy. <laughs> September 2012. Did I say anything good that day? June 1st, 2012. Monday, July 2nd, 1.14 p.m. 9.50 p.m. at Los Angeles, CA to New York City, JFK 687. This is a text? Seat 8A in, in Facebook. Messenger. What a sec! Don't read the sex out loud, Zoe. Yeah. Don't read the horny stuff. Mm. August second. Ooh. What? Let's hang out. You seem like a little firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging with boys is gross. Huh. Let me know when. <gasps> I know that's that's I'm I'm starting <laughs> to ask girls. And he gave me his number. I said that. I misspelled something instantly. Dude, what a fucking me thing to do. Yeah. I, you know what I do? I'll tell you what I do. I type, first of all, I'm dyslexic. Second of all, I type and hit send with like the timing matters so much more to me than getting every uh, word right in a sentence. And isn't that a goddamn bummer? Because you send it before it's ready Mm -hmm. and it destroys all joke credibility it's there on time it's there at the perfect time but it's it, you don't know what it says so what's the point point? and then i said ha huh, this doesn't mean that the stalking begins and i gave you my number don't flatter yourself is what you said <laughs> boom take it got him why were we so like roasty to <sighs> each other what is this east coast horse shit just say you're pretty. You're pretty. 
What uh, if I what if I said I saw you in the show and you're pretty? Hey, homie girl, I have another homie music girl. slash comedy gig at FTS oh. on August nineteenth. Oh. I don't like this anymore. It would be read if you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It would be read. Thanks for coming to the last one. Rad. It would be rad. I think you're swell. Uh, no. Dude, now it's your fault for for liking me back. I said I would love to go, but I'm working. Mm. But I'll be working it that night. I'll see what I can do. My heart is broken. Thanks. I said that? Yep. <laughs> what can I say? Dude, I didn't like some of that. Hey, homie girl. Hey, homie girl. I have another comedy slash music. I know all of it was true. It was really cool. But just say, just say show, but you don't have to. How do I, how do I get her back there and think that I'm cool? How do I say, I don't want her coming to just a music show. She's been to those. This is an experience. (laughs) This is a music (laughs) slash (laughs) comedy. And you were like, no, I'm working. You're yeah. in between jobs at the yeah. time. Like, no, I got to do work now. Sorry. Yeah. So how did you know that I liked you? I said things like, do you want to come to my music slash comedy show? I think you're swell. Ugh. Yucky. I think you're swell. <laughs> so I, yes. I don't want it. Yes, you do. I don't want yes, it. Yes, you I do. Said. Clearly you want it. <laughs> <laughs> you may read it. <laughs> And I'll never not want it. I just hope that I can forget parts of it. Here you go. Here's another question. Okay. How do you fix associating your self-worth to whether or not you're in a relationship? How do you fix? Yeah. So this person's self-worth is tied up in whether or not they're in a relationship. I'm guessing there's higher self-worth if they're in a relationship and lower self-worth if by self, two if by self. Um, if you think that you have to be in a relationship to have self-worth, there's some other work that needs to happen. Yeah. That's, um, That's kind of what we were talking about last week where mm-hmm. we're like, do whatever you want to do in your life that's mm-hmm. going to make you the most proud of yourself Mm -hmm. and then i think being proud of yourself um sometimes helps the your confidence Mm -hmm. situation yeah do things to help your confidence be like super not super super is immediately too overwhelming be like physically active see the sun yeah like be good with uh be good with you and then like the relationship thing well, it'll still be nice and you could still yeah. want it, obviously. Yeah. But it won't be so much tied to like, am I doing good as a person? Yeah. You know no I mean? one, if you feel like you're a better person with someone, I, I mean, I guess that's fine. But if you can't, I, I don't know. You're the that's best. That's hard. Like, like that's, that's. You're the best in a... Okay, so when you get into a relationship, Mm -hmm. if it's going to be... You want it to be the one, like, the one. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to be as close to the best version of yourself uh, when you show up as you can. Yeah. So you show up and you, you, you know, happily give of yourself to the relationship. Mm -hmm. And you want that to be, like, the most emotionally fit version Mm -hmm. if you could help it yeah i know it's not every no that's not how they all go but ideally i think you give yourself the best shot if you're like the most mentally and emotionally good yeah we all have work to do we're not 100 but you know there's times where i don't feel emotionally good yeah thank god you're there yeah and there's times where you're not attitudinally good like sometimes your attitude needs an adjustment Maybe uh, my swell self self will work on that then. I don't even know what you just said. My swell self. Oh. 
(laughs) (laughs) Anyway, it's like, and it's, you know, in my life, it's always been when I wasn't looking for it, the best things come. Mm -hmm. We've introduced people to each other Mm -hmm. where that's the case as well. Mm -hmm. It's like they're both not looking for anything. And then next thing you know, they're fucking together forever. Right. So... Do some nice stuff for yourself. Do some stuff to make yourself proud. Yeah. And maybe in that time. No other person is ever going to make you feel whole hmm. unless you're trying to do it yourself. Yeah. But they say a soulmate is two parts of them. You don't believe that? No, I, I believe it to a certain extent. But like in order to be the best person that you can be, in a relationship on your own, whatever you need to like, you need to do the work. Yeah. It helps to be as good as you, uh, can be on your own first. Uh And like I said, that doesn't mean that you're not, you know, that you're a hundred percent when you meet the other person. Mm -hmm. But if you're at least like trying your best to be, then you're, you'll be in a good spot. Yeah. You'll be in a good launching spot. Right. That's it. Yeah. Agreed. Great. Man, I wish you had questions so I could just think for a second at the end. I'm sorry. Here. But I got to go. No, you're not going to be able to read my fucking dirt handwriting. Um, Don't just snatch my book, Zoe. That was very rude. If we could have a playback. Should you still say I love you even if they didn't say it back? Like, if you mean that and they don't say it yet, Mm -hmm. should you still say it? Yeah. Or should you just keep it to your goddamn self until they say it? Man, I'm a... I I would say... That's my pen. (laughs) (laughs) That's my favorite pen. Um, Dude, I mean, maybe don't overdo it, but I'm always going to be like... Say what, say the honest shit. Say what you mean. If that's what you feel, fucking be honest. Because if you hide what you honestly feel in a good way or a bad way, it always comes out in some different way anyway. And the more stuff you keep inside, the more it gets like, um, it like, uh, what's that called? When wine get, goes from juice to wine, fermenting. Mm-hmm. It does that and it becomes other shit. So if you put it out there when you feel it, at least you know that it's re- it's like a timestamp of like what that was real. Uh-huh. What? You smiled, you look like your mom for a second. Thank you. My mom's a my mom's a stone cold fox. Um moving towards the mic to swallow. Wasn't it interesting to it. <laughs> <Okay>. Um <laughs> I mean, if it's something that you feel, I, I don't I don't see why you shouldn't say it, you know. I think that if you feel awkward saying it and they're still not saying it, then Maybe feel read the room. Yeah. Yeah. Um It doesn't mean you gotta say it a thousand times until no. they say it. It's not like I love you, I love you, I love you. Just so you know I love you. I know how is your day I love you. Just wanted say you it? to know that uh I love you. Hey, if people who say I love you says what? I love you. Okay. You know, I was thinking about you today and I I love you. Hey, listen, I love you. And this is a message to your phone, which I love, in your answering machine. And I love it. These are your direct messages. Mm -hmm. I love them. All the previous ones, all the ones you've deleted, love them. Listen, love you. Give me a call back. Let me know what you would love to have to dinner tonight and love you. Love you. Love you dot com. Just, just in case you didn't know, I love you. Love you. Signing out. Love um, <laughs> Mike said, "I love you first. Yeah. And then there were a couple times where I said, it "And you didn't say it back." Yeah. So we we lived it. Yeah. And look at us. Yeah. And I said it every day, second, a thousand times. Second. I said, "Is Zoe? Is this Zoe? Is there?" And I was calling her cell phone. So first of all. Loser move. Is Zoe, is this for Zoe there? And you said, yeah, it's my phone. We've been talking for three months. And I said, love you. 
I was just wondering, how is your day? And I'd love to hear it. Because um, I love you. Love you. Yeah. It was very funny because we were at a Celtics game. Yes. And I asked, I was with the boys. Mm -hmm. And one of the boys was very angry with me. Yeah. <laughs> and I asked everyone if they wanted a drink and I was going to go grab drinks. And I was standing, took the order, was walking away. And you're like, thank you, love you. Mm-hmm. And I look back at you, and I'm sure Bill did something, laughed or hit you or something. Love you. And uh, I immediately called my best friend, Mary. And snitched. And I was like, he said it. I was like, what do I do? I thought you were someone else. No. I said no. it to the hot dog guy when you left. No. So you ain't shit. I was like, what do I do? <laughs> and she was like, she was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know what to do. I was like, do I leave? She was like, don't fucking leave. She's like, where are you? I'm like, Boston. She was like, <laughs> she's like, don't leave. You put too much weight on it. I said the same thing to the TCBY guy. <laughs> he said, you want shots? And I said, I love you. Yeah. Big deal. It was very it's important. Cute. It's important. I didn't say should I leave for friends to say I love you to each other, and that's what we were. It was Valentine's Day weekend. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. When people throw that shit around a lot. Yeah. It was Valentine's Day Candies weekend. Candies are saying it. I can't um, say it. <laughs> Twenty twelve. <laughs> Yeah. And that was the real start of our relationship. The year that the world was supposed to end. You remember that shit? What? Wasn't was there it? a comet coming in 2012? You, you know how there's something every year that's mm -hmm. supposed to end the world? Pandemic didn't did it. Didn't, didn't Pandemic did it. didn't did it. Didn't did it. Pan did it. Pan did it. <laughs> Pan's labyrinth. <laughs> do you want to do one more or you want to bounce? I, man, do I hope this episode gets to where it's going because I, I do really like doing this mm -hmm. and I feel like it's productive even yeah. if our um, advice isn't a thousand percent good. Yes. I do like saying it with you. Yes, I, I like, like it like too. I like hanging out with you. I like you. hanging out with you. Bam. You're my favorite. What happened there? My arms are sore from my workout. Oh, you just um, had to get across. Zoe works out, everyone. So Arnold, we're getting there. So in your we're getting there. We're getting back into it. So that's why I'm sore. Um, as you know, Patreon.com is a virtual tipping and rewards website. Certainly is. As we were talking before, if you want to be a part of the Discord, all you got to do is be a Patreon. All you got to do uh, is be part of the Discord if you want. Yeah. Well, no, not. That's not how it just goes. If you want to be part of the Discord, all you got to do is be part of the Discord. Let's go. Uh. All right. Um. Don't take that advice because Mike's wrong. Um. Anyway, uh, and our ten dollar group gets a shout out. Your head is right in my way. Maybe I'll move. Uh, Matthew Carey, Shannon, LD, D LD, <laughs> LD. I used to go to school with a kid named uh, LD. Uh, Patrick Simpson. There is. There's. Pretty witnesses. Um. There's plenty. Uh, oh, Ernesto. Right. Okay, God. <laughs> uh, Raja. I I oh my God. <laughs> I'm so there. distracted by you today, dude. Um, well, this is what I'm doing right now is very distracting. Yes. Uh, Elizaeus. Uh, Joe Tarzan. Lewis and Odette. Uh, Lauren Chauncey. Paul Gilliam. Steve Diergo. Chris Gilliam. McCarthy. <laughs> Uh, Trevor the Wear Fishing, um, Joe Penn, Happy Birthday Starlight, JJ McToots, Rachel Last Name, Mike Genie. Mike is having a fucking blast right now, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, Alan Garcia, Connie Tryon, Isabella Sparkles, and Taro Baez. Frankie Matos Music. Um, in our short years, we come long way. Um, Chris Fernandez, Johnny Rizzito, Handcraft and Neckwear, CCP B and J, Admam, uh, Emily Pageant, Caleb Perkins. Um, that's a new one. I don't remember hearing that one before. Caleb, Caleb Perkins. Perkins. <laughs>
<laughs> Giant Tom Hanks, Lizzie Love, Gavin Welsh. Oh, God. Uh, crossed up. Someone tell Aaron. Emily Buck, Jackie Hammond, Paige Junzen, a guy with long hair, another guy with short hair. Happy birthday, Chris. Uh, Anna Valles, Benjamin Putz, Snuggle Pig H, uh, Ryan Ashbrook, Christina Camille. Uh, hope your black eye is going away. Did one of us have one of those? Christina got a black eye from her son. Oh, God. At the Ren Fair. That's right, because of the rock. Yeah. Uh, Josh Jinston, Michael Johnson, Kayla Johnston, Jules Run, Grant Levis York, Chad Clark, Joe Finney, Heather Ashley, What is Cat, Katie Taylor, <laughs> Shane Welsh, uh, Ivan Canoe. Chad Clark. Chad Clark. <laughs> I think I was just gonna let that one go. Chan Clark. Chan Clark. Chan Clark. Chan Clark. Chan Clark. Uh, Chan Clark. Joe Ban, Milky Beans, Jess Enright, Lillian Carrillo, Magna Silva. Can I pause for a second? Can I pause for one second? Milky Beans said some very nice things to me, and that is not like her because she has an attitude about her. She's so sweet. What the fuck are you to even you? talking hmm. And she has a real attitude when it comes to your boy. But she said nice shit. Nice shit. Nice shit. Barrington Lloyd, I love it. If I didn't say it, Magnus Silva. Benjamin Fuchs. Uh, Theodorus Carambellis. One bum ma'am. Janisha Tutton. I said ma'am, said not nice man. Shit. Danny Sinclair. Jacob D. Bradford. Justine Beebestein. Just Josh. Sergeant Sparty. Ed Birch. Helen Ford. Illuminos. <laughs> Superfloss. <laughs> Tatiana Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Danielle De Verona, De Verona. I think that's the first time Danielle I fucked up her name. De Verona. Sean Stone, Valerie York, Dev, Jesse Stillwell, Katie Why Lee. Why song slapped so hard this week? I don't know. Anyway. anyway. Rob Devereux, Don Go Chasing Waterfalls. Did you just pick up a nose hair? No, I didn't. What? You did this, and no. I don't know if it was... Eye booger. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So maybe a fucking eyelash. Okay. All right. Um, we'll check the tape. Nestor de Leon the, de Leon the third. De Leon. De Leon. Uh, Luis Hernandez. Luis. Alexander Legowski. Legowski. Monique Quistorf. Jamie Garner. Troy R. Cody Osalas. Felicia Shimberry. And... Matthew J. Palka. You guys, thank you so much for listening this week. I hope we've been helpful or just entertaining with bad thank advice. Thank you to us for being very helpful. If you want to submit questions to the show, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can do them anonymously at uh, fucking the um, Instagram. Welcome to our podcast separated by underscores you guys thanks so much for listening we'll see you next week see you next week <laughs> Sorry, <sir>. that was <laughs> <laughs>